Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. You might be wondering how can I generate text, a large amount of text that could help me in creating blogs. So you could be an SEO expert or you could be a content marketing specialist. What if you could leverage the existing GPT models to create your own content for the clients that you are working for or for your own blog as well. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the latest GPT Neo models to create your own content, a long form content that could be used for blogs. So at the end of this video, we are going to build something using radio, which helps us in creating quick ML interfaces. And this is how it's going to look where you could input some text and then ultimately you are going to end up with some AI generated content. Again, please forgive me for using AI generated content as a bait, but that is how the market is uh, industry reporting is. So that is why I've been using it to be very specific. This is nothing to do with AGI or something that people are usually afraid of. This is a simple transformer based model to generate text based on the input prompt that you give. So let us quickly go ahead and then get started. The two packages that we are going to use in this video or for this project is a text gen, which is a wrapper around a lot of text generation models. And we are going to use a text gen for generating text and then for our user interface or to say that the web application that I just showed you. So we are going to use Gradio for that. Please go ahead and then star respective repositories for AI text gen and also Gradio. If you find this useful, please give a shout out to the developers if you use this in your projects. So first let us fire up our Google Collab Notebook. So once you start your Google Collab Notebook, the first thing that you should make sure to do is change the runtime to GPU. So you can see that I have changed the runtime to GPU. So yes, once you have changed it to GPU, then the next step is install the respective packages. So we, we need two packages. One is Gradio. The second one is AI text gen. So take both the packages. So the packages that we want, let me a little bit zoom it. Yeah. Uh, so you need two packages, install both the packages. After you install both the packages, import Gradio as GR with an alias and also from a text gen import a text gen. So once these two are done at this point, you have successfully imported the respective packages. So this project, um, you may not actually see a lot of code and that is primarily because Thanks to Minimaxer, who is the developer of AI text gen. So this package does the heavy lifting for everything that you want to actually do. So basically a lot of things that you would do to get a GPT based model up and running is being heavy lifted by this package and this function. So you don't have to actually, you know, handle all those things. But even then there are a couple of options that we have got that we can play with. So the first thing that we have to do after importing a text gen is to download the model that we want. So let me quickly comment it download GPT Neo model. So this GPT Neo model is actually coming from the hugging face model hub. So I have already covered a different video for using GPT Neo model directly from hugging face li transformers library. But here you do not have to do any of those things. So this is purely or I should say highly abstracted way of generating text. So download the hugging model GPT Neo model uh, 125 MB model from hugging face model hub. And also because we are using it with a GPU, which would usually improve the processing time or the latency when you have GPU available. So if you do not have GPU available, you do not have to do this. But because we have got a free GPU, thanks to Google Collab, we are converting this into a GPU. So once this is done, now this is what this instance, this object is what you are going to use further in this project. So you can see that it has actually downloaded the respective models. And then you can also see the files that um, once, once, once it is downloaded, so you would get a cache 
folder and um, these models are stored in that cache folder but if you are planning to use it on an edge device or if you are planning to use it elsewhere it is better you save the downloaded model and load it every time you want to do inference rather than directly downloading it from hugging face model hub which of course would take a lot of time you can see and once that is done and then the next step for us to generate text so the very simplest way of generating text using gpt uh, oh, sorry a text gen let me quickly um, get my oops let me quickly get my uh, pencil so what i wanted to show you is uh, how simple it is for you to generate text so this this function that you see here is actually the one that is used for generating text and let me explain you why do you want this function rather than anything else so there are a couple of options for you to generate text so what are the options that you have let me quickly show you so you have a function generate and then you have a function generate one and then you have generate samples and then finally generate to file so let us assume that you want to render the text finally into something so or you want to do a bulk processing that is when you would probably use this function generate text to file generate to file and if you just want to create a cli uh, command level app or utility where you want to just generate the text and then print it outside you don't want to use it anywhere then generate is the easiest option that you should use when you want to print text and uh, just display it on console but if you are going to use it for api or let's say web application development uh, whether using gradio or using flask or streamlet or whatever purpose that you want to use it for then generate one is what you should be using so generate one actually generates a single text and the good thing is it also returns the text as a string so as you can see it also returns the text as a string so that makes our life much 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 simpler once again thanks to minimaxer for this wonderful wrapper that helps us in doing all these things so going back to our code so what are we doing here we are saying add or generate one and then i'm saying that i want a maximum length of thousand so i want a maximum length of thousand and then what do i want as my prompt so if you are not familiar with the concept of prompt prompt is nothing but the input text that you are giving it to your model based on which it's going to generate the remaining amount of text so if you notice in this app this is the prompt that i have given this is the prompt that i have given which is apple seemingly has a back big backlog of products to announce i just copied it from uh, the words um, blog post today and then that is being used as the starting text based on which the other set of texts are created so if you want a really really good uh, blog post or content uh, long form content the best way to do is split the big uh, blog post that you want into multiple chunks and give different prompt or even the same prompt at it each point so that everything is coherent rather than you know sometimes um, sometimes you would see weird result that's that's part of these kind of models right and we are using a completely pre-trained model we have not fine-tuned it with anything um, that we want if you are interested in fine-tuning model please look at my previous video where i've shown you how to text uh, take ai text gen library and then fine tune it with indian cooking recipe gpt model gpt2 model with indian cooking recipe names and then creating your own recipe title so you can use the same formula for a lot of things but leaving at that aside maximum length is one thing prompt is another thing and then sometimes when you are generating text you would get a lot of gibberish uh, same repeating characters so to avoid that give a value greater than one here no repeat n gram size uh, that will help you in uh, avoiding that kind of gibberish that that repeats you can either go with no repeat n gram size or you can go with a repetition penalty where anytime there is a repetition there will be penalty imposed so that the model is not going to get anything repeating uh, you can see uh, either this okay and the next thing is 
uh, return the text whatever the text that we are getting return it so return it why do we want to return it because we are creating it as a function and that function is going to help us uh, take the return to text and then show it as a web app so this is a process this is a place where actually our um, text generation is happening let me quickly run and show you how the output looks like a underscore text of uh, let me say something like um, what do I say USA is a leading um, manufacturer in smartphone and that is if I if I say this and then I'm running it you can see that it uh, it has generated a bunch of text it says like USA is leading manufacturing smartphone and that is the key success of the industry the industry has been growing exponentially over the past 30 years and then it started you know uh, saying a bunch of things and this is exactly what we want to do so now the text generation part is done so let me quickly show you how you can make a wrap a web application around it and you would be really surprised to see how simple and easy it is to do it with Gradio. So once again, thanks to the makers of Gradio who has made a really, really awesome application that can take your code even from Google Colab and make a full stack application around it, which is something a lot of web uh, data scientists or machine learning engineers usually struggle, especially while they're going to, while they're going to uh, iterate or prototype. So what we are going to do for Gradio for Gradio, you can see the sample code. So the first thing that we want to define, the first thing that we want to define is we want to say, do we want any output text box? So let me scroll up. And then you can see that there is there is an output text box. Let me show you the components. So you have a title. You have a title. Title is GPT Neo. Title is done. And then you have a text box text box is done and you have an output text box output text box is available so you have input text box output text box and whatever you enter in the input text box goes as INP and which is what we are passing as a prompt input the argument that we have given in the function so input output text and then you have an output text box and then your title which is what is this and then you have your description which is what is this so i have said the description is a generated blog content with blah blah blah, blah. and then um, so just to show you how it works let me quickly change the title so my title is going to be uh, a generated blog with gpt neo and then let me run it so you have the interface gr which is the alias interface and then we launch it simultaneously when you launch it from collab it comes as an iframe so output text box is done input is done and then we are launching this shift enter let me run it and then you can see it is getting launched so the only thing is uh, just like your ngrok or any temporary service that you have used this url would keep on changing if you are not registered if you want a permanent link you have to look at um, other options that they have got this is very good for iterating but if you want to do it something permanently just check out their um, hosted service and then see how you can get a permanent link so now that we have got uh, the title change so you can see that the title that we had here is the title that we have here and then let us quickly give an input text um, which is uh, let me say collab uh, google collab is an amazing platform for ml and then submit it and now it is running there is a latency of about 10 to 15 seconds uh, sometimes you would see even 20 seconds there are a lot of hyper parameters that you can change so yeah so google collab is an amazing platform for ml and uh, i've been working on so it has started generating text what i want to say is this model uh, transformers especially uh, large gpt models has got a lot of uh, bias in it so if you are aware of algorithmic bias or uh, machine learning bias 
um, some prejudice that human beings have uh, been fed into this model not intentionally I would say um, pr primarily because of the corpus that they have used to build this model so it is known to produce uh, text that could be wrong that could uh, that could that could mean something uh, that is not right so if you come across something please report it to the developers so that they can uh, they can uh, it can help them you know fine tune the model and uh, that is that is the only limitation but if you want to use it for seo or if you want to use it for content marketing this is again uh, a really awesome piece because gpt3 model by open ai has not been open sourced which means you do not have an option um, or you do not have a model that uh, almost replicates gpt3 which is like quite popular so gpt neo is such an open source initiative thanks to the developers and especially you AI for creating gpt neo and open sourcing it especially uploading it on hugging face that you can get it so successfully we have got a gradio app so if you click this link that should take you to the app that we just built now you can take this url and then share it with anyone and then they can you know create their own content so let me quickly try to see oh, let me see elon musk is an amazing scientist and tesla is it's generating uh, the text let's see what what it creates Elon Musk is an amazing scientist and Tesla is the largest private company in the world he is the CEO of Tesla Motors Inc he has been blah 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 and then you can see that uh, not everything is right uh, something is gibberish but um, this could really help in uh, creating content for you for your organization for your own blog um, uh, with uh, less number of human efforts uh, of course you want to do copy um, of, uh, you want to do you know um, check whether whatever it is producing is correct whether it is uh, devoid of bias or all these things but ultimately you have created or you have managed to create a web application or a web application I should say that helps you in creating blog content for SEO and other purposes so, and that is the objective of this video where I wanted to show you how you can quickly use Gradio and also a text gen to create a web application that can help you create uh, a generated blog content using GPT Neo a couple of people uh, like I said I have already called out um, uh, Gradio a text gen mini maxis a text gen and ulithri is GPT Neo all these are open source libraries they have done amazing job please when you use the solution make sure that you appreciate their work you give them a shout out and then spread the word about the open source development that they are doing and if you have any comments please let me know in the comment section otherwise i hope that this video was really helpful to you in creating your own ai generated blog and i would see you in another tutorial and until that please stay safe take care of yourself